My name is Wayne Lobo, and I am a geology master's student at the University of Kansas, where I'm working with Dr. Sam Zipa. And we're talking about the assessment of the alcohol crop open software Python model and simulating crop water productivity in a crop in a cornfield in the Sheraton system in Kansas. So a lot of irrigated lands rely on groundwater as a source, but the unsustainable use of groundwater for irrigation is leading to groundwater depletion across the US and in other parts of the world. Areas that have fewer or limited surface water options have developed the self-governance practices that aim to lower uh, water use. In the Sheridan County, a local enhancement management area was established in 2013 to reduce water use by lowering groundwater pumping rates to a five-year total of 55 inches per irrigated acre over a five-year period. So it's overall a 20% decrease in groundwater pumping rate. After its assessment in 2018 and seeing how successful it was, the Lima was extended and additional limas have been proposed and established around Kansas. So farmers are mainly interested in knowing how this lima is going to perform under different um, weather conditions. If their crop yield is going to be affected, how much water they will need to irrigate. So to do this, a lot of crop simulation models have been used. And for our preliminary analysis, we used an irrigated cornfield and we selected this field because of its simplicity. It has one well that's um, related to a single water right. So this is our cornfield. And as I mentioned, there are a number of crop simulation models, but we decided to use our crop open software Python model because it is free and easier to use and requires fewer input data parameters. And some of them include the soil type, the crop planting date and the meteorology data. So we simulated the irrigation demands and yield under different irrigation strategies. Our top panel shows the irrigation and the lower panel shows the yield. So on the x-axis, we have the soil moisture threshold as a percentage. So at 0%, we are assuming that this field is rain-fed. For example, at 40%, the assumption is, so the irrigation is triggered when soil moisture drops below 40% and so on and so forth. So when you compared the field observed irrigation, um, we were seeing that it ranged in the between 350 to 450 millimeters. And this was similar to the aqua crops 80% soil moisture threshold values, suggesting that in this field, irrigation is triggered when soil moisture thresholds drop below 80%. And under the same conditions, we were seeing that our yield values were way higher than the county level observed yield data from the USDA. Another interesting observation was that after the 40% soil moisture threshold, our yield values were not changing, which shows that increasing water or irrigation does not affect or increase the yield values um, at this point. So with the 80% simulation where we say irrigation is triggered when soil moisture drops below 80%, we then assessed the accuracy of the alcohol crop um, model by comparing it to field observed data. And the upper panel shows our irrigation data, and we're seeing similarities in the trends throughout the study period. Our yellow here in all these graphs uh, shows the aqua crop simulations. So, um, do we saw so just interesting observations. We, um, there were very high or low to high shifts in 2006, 2010, and 2012. And this could be indicators of water stress. And at the beginning of the Lima, there is this big drop uh, in the irrigation requirements, which shows that the Lima was actually successful. Looking at the yield data, our aqua crop model overestimates yield throughout the study period, whereas the county level data are more variable. The open ET data shows that aqua crop simulation performs fairly well, and the aqua crop model tends to overestimate the ET in the spring to summer months, but it underestimates it in the four months. So from our key findings, we um, seeing that the yield data was being overestimated, and this could be due to alcohol crop not accounting for stressors such as pesticides and other severe water um, stressors. So our next step is to calibrate the model further to improve its performance and to expand this analysis to simulate the GMT4 and the St. Louis Valley and South Central Colorado. Thank you.